Welcome back to Keep Calm and Bake. Now this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make a zebra cake. To make the cake batter, we're going to pop uh, all the ingredients into a food blender. So butter, this is soft butter, unsalted. It's going to go all in. Sugar. Lovely. Cream these together until they're light and fluffy. Next, add your eggs in. We're going to add them one at a time and we're going to mix it in. And once it's all mixed in, then you add the next one. And we've put all the list of ingredients and quantities in the description box for you. Add your vanilla. It's my guesstimate there. Beautiful. Next, we're going to sieve the flour and baking powder together in a bowl. So, flour, baking powder. Sieve these. Ooh. We're going to mix the flour now into the eggs and sugar. I'm going to do it a bit by bit, so tablespoon or big spoon going in. There you go, a couple of big spoons. Mix this up first. Bit of milk. And we're going to alternate the flour and the milk until it's all used up. Right, that's perfect. So we've got this lovely, thick, kind of rich batter. And personally, I like my marble cakes to be nice and buttery. I'm going to divide the cake batter into two. So I'm going to put half of it into this bowl. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, good. To this half, I'm going to add the cocoa powder. So you can just pop that all in. Now mix in the cocoa powder to the batter. I just like fold mine in gently. And the reason I saved that extra bit of milk is to add it in now. There we go. Just fold that all in. Once it's all mixed in, then we can start assembling. So a cake tin here, it's got some greasy paper in the bottom. My oven is preheating. And to make this look like a zebra, there is a certain technique. So what you need to do is pop in about a couple of tablespoons of the, the white batter. That goes in first. All right. Now the chocolate bit goes straight in to the middle of the white bit. Yes. This is a lot of fun to make this cake. Okay, now just I'm spreading it down because this is the base layer and we're going to keep repeating this process until we've used up all the batter. Now, if you like uh, the look of this cake, then hit subscribe to get lots more yummy recipes. And I also do another cooking channel, so if you like cooking in general, I've got lots of sweet and savoury recipes, so you can hit subscribe to my channel as well. So there we go, our stripy zebra cake is now ready to go into the oven. So I'm going to pop it in, it takes quite a long time, so it's going to be about an hour and we will see what it looks like on the other side. Once your zebra cake is cooked, take it out of the tin and leave it to cool down. A good way to test if the cake is cooked is to get a small skewer Stick it in, if it comes out clean, then it's done. Right, now this has cooled down, so I'm gonna put it onto a plate. And then we're gonna cut into it, and fingers crossed, it's looking like a zebra. You can see the swirls on the top already. Right. Let's get a nice big slice. Ooh, ah. Very cool, see? 
you can see where all your kind of marbling work uh, has gone into those lovely lines, which is fantastic. And it's still nice and moist. I have a little nibble. Let's have a little taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very buttery. I'm going to taste all that vanilla. This is a very, very delicious cake. So I hope you all really enjoy this recipe. Um, leave me your comments and I'll see you next time.